Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully able to see all the data and also we are able to successfully log in with the user. And when you create any new user, by default, our new user will be as a role, role will be as a user and status will be as a active, right? I hope everything is very, very much clear to you. Now friend, in this video, I want to do, there have another two of these data, I have already seen some of the data in here, like there is an admin and also another one as an agent, right? Because I want to create as a multi-user authentication system, like right now, if you want to log in with the admin, better I copy it, so now that is our admin, and for the admin, I have already said the password, if you go to our mm, data seed here, Mm, that is our factory that is a user table seeder right so into the user table seeder you can see for the admin i have already added that as a one one and then for the agent i have also added that password as a one 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 right and also i make it as a hash password like right now into locking as a one 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 now click as a login and you can see right now we are successfully able to login with the admin great okay so here we are able to successfully locking with the admin now that is return redirect to the user dashboard admin is also one of the users so right now i want to do also i want to check another one as an agent so i copy it now i want to locking again with the agent and password was 111 now click as a login yeah right now we are also successfully able to locking with the agent great Right now, friend, I want to do, I want to uh, simply change that dashboard because here I want to do for the user, I want to access that slash dashboard for the agent. I want to access another URL that will be like as a agent dashboard and for the admin that will be as a admin dashboard. Okay. So now this type of one of the page, first of all, I want to create like right now I want to log in. And if you want to do this work, we have to do, we have to like right now we don't need it. I want to better close it. Also I close it. I have already done that cedar part. Everything is great. Now we have to go to our route and that is our web.php. Okay. Here now I want to create another new page. So that will be just like that same better. So now better I want to copy it okay so here that is all the default route so we don't need it actually you can also remove it from to this area right now it's totally fine better after that after that i want to paste it okay right now that is one of the route and that is one of the, will be one of the gate method i want to create one of the url our url will be like as a admin and then dashboard Okay, that will be as an admin dashboard. And also I want to create another new controller, then that will be better. I want to create another new controller as an admin controller. Okay, so that will be as an admin controller. In our admin controller, I want to create another method name. So here that will be our method. I want to create another method as an admin dashboard. Okay, the admin dashboard. Now this type of one of the method I want to create and also you can use some of the name. Okay, that means our name route, you can, if you want to access it, you can actually access it by this name as a, I name it as a admin and dashboard. Okay, that will be the admin dashboard, great. Great, right now, first of all, we have to do, have to create this uh, controller as admin controller, but I copy it. And now if you go to our project, our PHP artisan service running, I want to open another CMD. Okay, I want to better open another CMD rather than as I told you, you can also use it your terminal from this area. Okay, right now it's totally fine. I want to better use it. So that will be as a PHP artisan and then make, I want to create another controller. And I want to create one of the controller name as the admin controller. Okay, now if you click as the enter in our direct controller area, now that should be created one of the new controller as the admin controller. Now, if you go to our controller part, that means every all that our controller will be saved in our app, HTTP, and then in our controller folder. And here you can see I have created one of the new controller as the admin controller. Right. So now into the uh, first of all job is we have to do have to support it. Okay. In particular that area. Now, first of all, I want to support this one better. I copy it and then I paste it. Now that will be in our app HTTP controllers folder. I have created one of the new controller right here. I have already created one of the new controller as an admin controller. Now better I want to support it. That will be as a admin controller. Okay, friend. Now we can actually able to access it. So that is our admin controller. Now we are we are able to access it. And now in our admin controller area, I want to create another new method as an admin dashboard method.
and now if you want to create it we have to go to our admin controller into this admin controller i want to create another new function that will be as a public and then function sorry that will be as a function so that is a public function our method name will be as a admin dashboard and better i put some of the note here that will be as a and method okay that will be the end method great so in particular this area only i want to return one of the view page okay here i want to re return one of the view page so that will be the return view and return view will be which one here better in our view that means if you go to that our resources view okay so that is actually our resources and then that is our view so into the view area i want to create some of the folder better i want to do i want to create on the new folder here i name that one of the folder as a admin admin related everything i will save it particular this folder area great and also i want to create another one i want to create another one as agent agent related everything i will save in our particular agent folder so into the admin folder area now here i want to create on the new page i click as i open and i want to create on the new page um whatever the name actually you choose right now i name it as a admin admin okay that will be the admin dashboard dot blade dot php make that sure is extension is very important so now i have created on the new file that will be as admin dashboard dot blade dot php great now here i want to load one of the simple html file i want to simply load it on the html file they have some of the head they have some of the um, title a title i make it as a admin dashboard Okay, that will be the admin dashboard and also i want to load on the h1 tag that will be as h1 h1 will be as a close okay i want to close it great so now into this area i want to load some of the name that will be as a admin dashboard great so here right now if you want to access it now click as a save all i have already they have some of the error in our um, controller here you can see i didn't use that as a semicolon so right now that should be one of the semicolon and now here we have to do have to load our page that means that will be return view in our which page that i have created that is in our view and then that will be our admin folder right so that was the admin folder into the admin folder here now to access our admin underscore dashboard so that will be the admin dashboard great now that should be written direct to a particular disk space right now here if you go when you want to access that url as a slash admin it should be hit our admin dashboard in our admin controller so into the admin controller admin dashboard one of the method when that will be hit it will be written one of the view page in our admin folder i have already created one of the page as the admin dashboard so that is our admin dashboard right now let's check this out if you now want to access it i copy it now go there i want to do after that that will be the admin slash dashboard now click as enter yes you can see another html page is successfully loaded okay so now i want to do the same things for the agent so if you want to do this work i also want to create another controller then that will be actually better i want to create another controller with the php addition make controller i want to create another one as agent agent controller Okay, that will be the agent controller now click as enter i have created another controller as agent controller our first job will be the same here we have to do we have to load it i better copy it and after that i paste it now i have created one of the new one that will be as agent controller i want to copy it so that will be here as a agent controller i simply support it now we have to create another route better i copy it and after that i want to paste it so now that will be as a agent agent dashboard and our route name i name it as a agent dashboard i have created our controller name as a agent controller so that will be as a agent controller here i want to create another new method as a agent okay agent agent dashboard great now this type of one of the uh, method we have to create in our agent controller so now go to that our agent controller here that will be actually just like that same i want to simply return again create on the public and then function so and then our method name will be as a agent dashboard okay here i simply created this one and that will be as a and method okay that will be the and method and here i want to simply return again return on the view page 
so that will be the return view and return view will be which one i have already created another folder as a agent and into this agent folder now to create another new page as a agent agent underscore dashboard okay that will be the agent dashboard great now i want to create like if you go to again our resources view into the resources view i have created already one of the folder as a agent now here i want to create on the new page as a agent dashboard I want to create on the new page that will be as a agent dashboard dot blade dot php okay great and also i want to load another html now that will be as a agent okay sorry here that will be as a agent dashboard that will be as a agent dashboard and i also want to take another h1 tag so that will be as a h1 okay now h1 i want to close it here that will be as a h1 okay i simply close it and now here i want to, to use it as a agent dashboard great so right now if you want to access that our agent dashboard our url will be which one that will be as a agent dashboard if you copy it now if you go i want to access now as a agent dashboard now click as a enter hmm. you can see it's now successfully loaded our another page as a agent dashboard great Right now, there is an agent dashboard. Also, there is another page here I have created as an admin dashboard. Right, that will be the admin dashboard. Now, our admin dashboard page is loaded and agent dashboard page is loaded. I hope, friend, everything is very, very much clear to you. Simply, I created two of these pages and now I loaded both of these pages in here. So friend, now we have to actually add some of the trick. Here now we have to do or we have to um, simply apply this condition. When you successfully logging with the user, user will be returned redirect to the slash dashboard. And when you successfully logging with the agent, it should be check our role, right? Because our role is different. Here if you go, our role is different as an admin role, agent role, or rather than user role. When that will be as a user, it should be written redirect to our user dashboard. When that will be as a admin, it should be written redirect to our this page as a admin dashboard. When that will be a role will be as a agent, it should be written redirect to the agent dashboard. So how to do this work with using some of the simple middleware in our next video? I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.